Market making is a type of algorithmic trading strategy that before crypto was mainly used by institutional investors because they only had the possibility to connect their trading bots to the exchanges, to the brokers. Right now with crypto, any retail can connect his API to any trading bot. And today we are going to talk about market making. Exchanges and token issuers spend around $1.2 billion a year on market making in the form of fees, rebates and the cost of lent inventory. And if you spend any amount of time in crypto groups, you'll soon find the blame for poor market performance set squarely at the feet of the market makers. Seen as greedy, manipulative and secretive, they have become the go-to villain for unusual and unexpected market behavior. But is it justified? The reality is that a lot of institutional investors that use market making are just using it for liquidity providing. But there are some that have the possibility, because the possibility is there with market making, to use black hat, more black hat types of strategy that might pump and dump the market. So we see this often on the charts and on the order books that some charts are going up and down at the same time. This is mostly the market makers fault because, well, retails are caught in, in the move and market makers are just trying to get as much liquidity in order to fulfill their, um, their strategy. Before we start and get into the tutorial, bit, because this is what it is and this is why the video will take this long, well, we need to understand that market making has different purposes. One purpose for market making is to provide liquidity. This is the base purpose of the market making technique and strategy that has been used for years. You basically have a bot that has uh, s both sells and buys that are placed uh, in at different distances from the spread price, the spread medium price, and basically you provide liquidity for the market. The second strat, the second purpose for the strategy is that you can use market making to have volume, to create volume. This is a strategy that is oftenly used when you want to participate, for example, in a trading competition that requires a minimum volume. You can use a bot to create the volume and you can create directional trades to create profit. This really increases the chances that you win a part of the price. But right now we are going to use something else. We are going to use market making for profit. Now this is maybe one of the most complicated parts of market making because creating profit, profit in such tight spreads, such tight take profits is and can be difficult. However, you can see on the, uh, the chart that I have here on Binance, I have a pair, I have EGLD, USDT. This is just an example. I have been running this for, for a while right now and I, I'm liking the way it behaves. However, I just wanted to show you because I have activated the entries and exits on the charts. This is the way the bot trades. It basically uh, places orders on the on the higher side and on the lower side. It, they, it identifies a channel and it tries to create profit. Now, of course, I have a lot of configuration going on in um, in this strategy and I will probably cover it in another video. But for now, we need to focus on how to install and get running this market making bot. So in order to get this bot running, we will need to install it somewhere. Now you can install it locally on your PC, but well, if you want to run it 24 seven, you have to run it on a server. And now there are multiple possibilities. You can install it on Microsoft Azure, you can install it on AWS, or you can install it on DigitalOcean. But I chose Google Console because, well, Google Cloud it has the simplest interface and has the most generous demo version for the servers. So you can basically run your server for free for, I think, three months, and then you can just pay like a, a really small amount for your server to run. It's something like about, I think, eight or two, 10 euros per month. So in order to install um, the bot on this, uh, this Google Cloud platform, we will need to, first of all, have a Google account, 
and I don't think this is an issue and you will need to eventually add your credit card information on the site so that they can uh, debit you once your trial period is over and once this is done you will need to go to the Google uh, Google Cloud Platform uh, dashboard you go to the left side and you go to Compute Engine VM Instances and now you, you might see that I already have an instance running. This is my own instance. I also have multiple accounts with other instances. And I'm going to create another instance. So we are going to click on create instance right here. We are going to give it a name, of course. And now we are not running a high frequency trading bot. If we were uh, running a bot that posts a lot of trades per second, on Binance, we would have chosen something near the um, the servers for the, that Binance has, uh, which are near Tokyo. So I would have chosen Tokyo. In this case, I can just choose any anything in the list. I can choose Tokyo if I want, for example. Um, and I need to select select the type of server that I want. So in order to run the market making bot that we want to install, we need a small server. This would suffice, so one shared core, two gigabytes of RAM. Now we also need to change the type of, of operating system that we want on it. And we are going to select Ubuntu. We are going to select it. We leave any uh, we leave these details as they are, and we are going to allow HTTPS traffic, and we are going to create. And now the server is being created right here. So now that we have our instance ready, we are going to connect to it via SSH. So we are going to press this little button here, and we are going to have a pop-up window that will transfer us to our uh, terminal, which is. Uh, hosted on the Ubuntu operating system. And we are going to start the installation process with some commands that you will also find in the description for your convenience. So the first command is simple. We are just going to download Docker. Docker is a package that allows us to install other instances inside the instance. The second thing we are going to do, we are going to add some permissions for the script. So another paste right here, permissions are granted. We are going to install the SH for Ubuntu Docker. And right now it is installed and we need to close the terminal. This is extremely important because if not, the permissions will not be updated. And now we are going to install the bot. So the first command we are getting, so uh, we are getting the bot from GitHub. So basically the name of the bot is Hummingbot. So you can check it out on the internet. There's not a lot of following because people uh, seem to find it too complex to configure. And basically, yeah, well, the five second attention span that TikTok promotes uh, doesn't really suit this kind of, of, uh, of audience. So we are going to install the bot right here the first command the second command we are going to install the start.sh command that will allow us to start the bot and we are going to update it third command and we are going to give it some permissions and we are going to create the instance okay right now we have the latest version of Hummingbot. Do we want to give it a name? No, we leave it like this. Do we want to give it a special file location? No, we leave it like this. Do we want to proceed? Yes, and we proceed. And it is extracting the, the, the bot and installing it. Okay, so we have installed Hummingbot, our market making bot, and we just need to press OK. And we need to read this, of course not. 
and we need to set a secure password that we are going to enter right here uh, whatever you want two times okay so right now the bot is configured and we are now in the instance itself we have just created humming bot and if we type help we can see a list of commands that can help us um, configure the bot itself so the first one we would need would be the connect the connect command the connect command would um, would allow us will allow us to connect to our exchange so let's type connect and see what happens so right now it shows us the markets that are available for connection via um, via api so hummingbot is really known for adding a lot of connections even though most of them are uh, are are functional some of them really have some issues with uh, with uh, executing orders but the main ones are covered and for this example i'm going to configure binance because i know many of you use binance and we are going to configure binance features as well but in a later video so for this one i will use connect Binance and it will ask me for my API key and I'm going to paste my API key here and I'm going to paste my API secret here so we are now connected to Binance let's see if we explore the help menu what else we find so we can find the balance, the config, uh, start, stop, of course, status, history, gateway, exit, export, a lot of options. Right now we are going to just try to see what do we have in the config panel. So config, config will, uh, will basically allow us to see the global configurations for the bot so this is so the bot is the main platform and it is fueled by strategies so strategies have their own configurations in order to create a strategy we will need to create to use the the create function so in this um, in this tab right here i'm going to add create and it will uh, ask us what is your market making strategy what do you want to create and if i press on, press on tab i have all the available uh, strategies that are integrated with hummingbot and guys i assure you these strategies are very well thought of but the configuration is really up to you so they offer you the tools what you do with them is uh, well it's your business you can be extremely profitable as you can be uh, in a loss if you are not configuring the um, the strategies correctly so these are the examples of strategies that we can use on on hummingbot for market making but i'm not going to 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 cover the strategies in this video we are going to keep this for another video so right now guys i hope that you managed to install it to understand a bit what market making is and in the and in the next video we are going to configure uh, a market making strategy and we are going to add uh, the um, the requirements that we want for it and we are going to make it run on Binance. This is all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. We gon' make sure you never miss a trade again. Watch how you get paid over and over again. Account management, be careful how you